from the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio. I'm Justin Kopsack. Today we're going to talk about the Underground Railroad. Following the War of 1812, the nation quickly expanded, forcing the question of whether or not to allow the practice of slavery in the new territories. Under the terms of the Northwest Ordinance, Ohio was admitted to statehood as a free state. But the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 made it illegal to help slaves escape. Well, not all Ohioans were abolitionists. Seeds of the anti-slavery movement were planted by local anti-slavery newspapers, growing Ohio into a strong center of opposition to slavery. The Ohio Anti-Slavery Society employed lecturers to travel across the state, hoping they would convince Ohioans to join the abolitionist movement. Uncle Tom's Cabin was a popular novel based on runaway slaves that the author Harriet Beecher Stowe had met in Cincinnati. Ohio served as the northern trunk line for the Underground Railroad, a system of secret routes used by free people in the north and south to help slaves escape to freedom. Many cities in Ohio today have houses that were once used by fugitive slaves heading north along the Underground Railroad. Escape routes developed throughout Ohio with safe houses where slaves could be concealed during the day and travel at night to their destinations. From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Thank you for watching.